Now, coming up next, we have got in singles contest a rematch from turning up in February. It is the obnoxious one, Oliver Peace versus Lightning, Lewis Howley. It's almost like you can hear a unified groan as soon as that music hits. The obnoxious Ola Peace about to make his way to ringside, Carol Fulham in London. And I'll tell you what, I hate to say it, but there seems to be a slightly different demeanor to Oliver Peace. It, I'm not gonna say he's, I'm not gonna say it's completely different. I, I, I mean, he still sticks like a Welshman at a Lincoln Fight Factory Academy, but there's something just not, I don't know. He seems too happy. seems slightly less obnoxious than normal. And I don't know what Rob's going to say when he gets back to the commentary booth about that handshake. He can tell me more. But anyway, now, as we await the arrival of Oliver Peace's opponent, I say to you, this rematch is going to be exciting, fast, and you're going to see plenty of, plenty of hot, hot action. As here we come, Lightning, yes it's spelled correctly, Lewis Howley. certainly has put himself forward as a fan favourite in Lincoln. The, fact, the, the Lincoln crowd are very, always very excited when they see him. It's just the, 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 his style, it's very, it's, he's amazingly agile and high-flying for somebody who's, who's the size of Lewis Howell, let's face it. He's not exactly a small competitor. And Rob, as you've come back to the commentary booth here, I, 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 actually, I, you know what? Get Lewis Howley for a second here. Did you notice anything different about Oliver Peace? Yeah, the thing that struck me here, Nick, was he actually had a sense of respect, not only for me, but for children at the ringside. It's a totally, totally different side to Oliver Peace, but let's not count the chickens yet. I was going to say, we all know a bit too well exactly the tactics that Oliver Peace can bring to the table when needed, and I don't take him all the time at face value. In fact, I will take him some of the time at face value. One thing we can take from this match here, Nick, is it's going to be fast, it's going to be great, and it's going to set the crowd on the a light here at the Yarborough Leisure Centre. Definitely, completely agreed. And Lewis Howley, as we know, has got that agility and that he is like a bolt of lightning when it comes to it, you know. Anyway, lock up here between the two. Lock up, who's going to get the advantage? I'd normally favour Lewis Howley in this. Let's see, and no. Yes, in fact, sorry. Lewis there, taking the arm. Strong wrist lock here by Lewis Howley, showing that although he can fly, he does have the basic fundamentals to put on an excellent technical wrestling match here against uh, Mr. Oliver Peace. So Peace there, trying to work out that from, uh, from the ground. He was a, just using a strike there, getting way down. Back onto the arm again. This round goes roll up there. Bit out, was it referee out of position? Only gets a one count. Could have been two maybe, if he was in position, but no. I must admit, Nick, this match hasn't started the way I thought it would do. Both, both competitors here in the ring, great wrestlers, but more renowned for their uh, more daredevil style. So uh, it's nice to see a, a great exchange in the British technical wrestling here. Well, definitely not the case with Lewis Howley anyway, but they are, you know, let's not take anything away. They are both very, very accredited wrestlers into the technical style of catch as cash can. Now Lewis trying to work out the wrist lock there, gets out, using the robes, flips over, springboard, a reversal, and there, beautiful arm drag there, but Lewis Howley, now on the speed, is starting to speed up, cross-body attempt, all the piece catch. 
catches Lewis, that's no mean feat, and a beautiful scoop slam. There's the obnoxious side of Oliver Peace coming through, like we mentioned before, though, Nick. Strong, strong European uppercut sending Howley into the corner. Now whips off the other corner now. Comes over, opposite corners, and a bit of a slip there by Lewis Howley, and it just goes to show how much of a high risk a lot of this style, this high flash and speed and bouncing around style can be. If it's high risk, it's up, you're liable to hit it or miss it. Let's face it, Lewis Howley though, with the catch and the slap. Lewis Howley there making up for his, uh, his slight slip up there. Oliver Peace did try and capitalise on it as best as he can, but Lewis Howley here, one step ahead of the game. Lewis Howley off the top rope, look for something, but now nah, Oliver Peace there, wise to it, rolling out the ring. As we said, these two have fought each other on a number of occasions, both within Lincoln Fight Factory and outside Lincoln Fight Factory. Lewis Howley has just got airborne. Great outside plancher dive there by Howley. And taking a moment to rest with his fans there in the front row. This is why the Lincoln crowd absolutely love Lightning Lewis Howley. I'm sure he's going to sell many a Polaroid at the halftime show because of that as well. Lewis Howley on the outside taking the advantage now on top of the piece as he rolls him back into the ring. Howley is on an adrenaline rush. He is riding high here, Nick, but I do fear that he is taking a little bit too much time when it comes to capitalising on Oliver Peace. You're telling me that Oliver Peace just kicking that middle rope and garrotting Lewis Howley on the, well, never Asians, for lack of a better word. Oliver Peace is on top. As now he takes single leg, where is he going to take this from here? Both legs. Is it going to... Um, I was going to say, normally I'd expect Oliver Peace to be... Uh, well, there we go. <laughs> Oliver Peace with the uh, the foot meg. And uh, Lewis Howley is feeling that. Leopard never changed its spots, Nick. He's telling me, you said there's a different air to him to begin with. I thought there was as well. But when you have a kick to the uh, groin area like that, you just know the same tactics are going to be at play. Oliver Peace is starting to get frustrated now. I think he wanted to try and do something different to begin with. But what he's getting is a negative response for these crowd of plenty at Lincoln Fight Factory at Yarborough. Oh, that body drop there by Oliver Peace. Peace in firm control. Peace very, very ferocious with his offence here. Throwing him down to the mat, throwing him into the turnbuckle. He's taking no prisoners here. Ferocious with his offence, nonchalant with his covering abilities, it would seem. As for all of his efforts, he's not been able to break the two count. That obnoxious side is slightly becoming a more overconfident side in Oliver Peace as this match progresses. I think he's referring back to what he actually knows quite a lot. There's Oliver now, still on top. Let's not let's not make any bones about it. The big forearms there, and now Peace. Lewis Howley, it's rope, no, whips off the opposite corner now. Lewis's advantage. Peace in the corner, goes to charges in, but no. Peace sends him over. Lewis Howley charges through the ropes there. Again, Howley on top. Manages a flip over off the ropes. Sunset flip, goes through. No, Oliver Peace rolls through. Goes for a kick. No, beautiful standing moonsault there. But Peace could this put while Lewis Howley away. No, two count only. Oliver Peace there showing his agile side to uh, telegraph uh, Lewis Howley's great sequence there. It was a fantastic sequence, it was hard to keep up, I tried my best, I really, really did. Oliver Pisa, let's put it, is still on top, and now there uh, with the uh, chin lock. Lewis Howley trying to get some momentum going, just trying to get that the adrenaline pump for his body, get the crowd still on his side. Make his way back up, elbows from the bread basket there, it's two, three. Howley going off the ropes, Pisa looking for somebody, goes up, no, misses now, once, twice on the docks, and ah! Uh, down both out with that clothesline. That was the great equaliser there. Both men flat to the mat. Both had the same idea. Went for it. Gave everything. Both of them came out with nothing. Both these competitors, like I say, there's such a long, long heritage. These two actually face off against each other. Both in Fight Factory and outside of you know they want that one more for their side of the score sheet. As Lewis Howley there manages to take advantage and is on now on top of Oliver Peace there. Beautiful flying uppercut. Peace goes for so misses. Howley there. It was like 
jabbing and jiving off the ropes. Slides under. How is still in control. Beautiful drop kick. Howley is on the adrenaline rush here once again. The vocal crowd here in Lincoln are making their presence known with their support for Lightning Lewis here as he goes for the Northern Lights suplex. They went for the bridge. Dean Peel's going to get it. Rolls through. Now what's he doing here? Is he going to fly? Inverted senton standing. Beautiful there. Two gets only two. You've got to believe after hitting that move, hitting it, you would have thought it'd be a three, but no. You can see from the, uh, the look on Howley's face there that he thought he had Oliver Pease there for the three count. And I think 90% of the crowd here thought that as well. They all thought that, but look at that double on the hook there. Double on the hook, suplex. Pease uh, taking a shade of the Undertaker there for some bizarre reason. And only get a two count for it. Um, yeah, it seems like Oliver Pease is doing tributes in terms of his wrestling pinfall attempts. Let's face it, Lightning Lewis Howley has got a lot to give and he's not going to give up that easily on the fans with a nonchalant pin cover from Oliver Pease. Well, what must that do to you, Rep, if you get pinned in such a way like that as he goes off the ropes there, comes back in, big, big, big strike there. Comes off the ropes again, two times, back elbow. Now what's Pease going to do here? He can, you can sense he's got one more in mind. Third time to Charles, Nick. Goes off again, but how is wide straight big boot? Like great, great vision there by Lightning Lewis Howley. He's looking to go up top. They say he just kicked the life out of Oliver Peace there. And yes, you can tell Lewis Howley wants to take advantage. Could he be going for that patented frog splash that we've seen before from Lewis? If it does, it'd be lightning strikes twice, and there it is. Frog splash two. Wonderful victory there by Lewis Howley. That is another victory for Lightning Lewis Howley. And more importantly, I guess, with the Lincoln Fire Factory records, it is now one each between all the peace and Lightning Lewis Howley. What a contest! That's a sight there, that's a relief, Victor. Crowd certainly appreciative of the effort by, uh, by Lightning Lewis Howley there. It's striking though, because all the peace has not left the ring. Um, uh, welcome back once again, Rob. Um, all of a peace has not left the ring. Um, Could we see shades of uh, what he showed at the start of the match? Although he did uh, kind of turn his back on what we thought was a change in, uh, in direction for Mr. Peace. Uh, he seems to be uh, wanting to have words with Lewis. With a sh show there of great, great respect and letting the fans here know it was a tough fought battle for both competitors. I think you've got to say there is purely appreciative of the competition element. Here we go, look at that beautiful dive over the top there. Wiping out the piece on the outside. Lightning Lewis Howe wasn't done there, there was high flying antics. Look at that inverted standing scent on there. Hitting it like many a people and that could have been a freak out. And here, well, what can we say, Rob? It was a great aerial attack there from Lewis Howley to secure the three count and even up the scores with Oliver Peace here in Lincoln. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's just take a few moments now to view a video of something that happened last night at the LFFW 